Our subject today is Alfred Hitchcock's 1966 spy thriller, Torn Curtain. Now, by most standards, given the run of films from Rear Window through Marnie, Torn Curtain is not one of Hitchcock's better efforts. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a Greek letter. Professor. Maybe... Pi. Mathematics. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, right? Yeah. You're a very educated man, Mr. Gromack. I went to night school, Professor. Special night school. And they told us all about pi. A dirty little two-bit organization for spying and escaping. Can you do better than them? Mr. American agent! This exchange sets up the most memorable scene in Torrid Curtain, possibly the only scene that stands out in the finished picture, the killing of Gromek. A virtuoso scene in which Hitchcock shows how, contrary to the way things are done in the movies, killing someone can actually be quite a nasty business and a lot more difficult than one might realize. Cut it out, you don't be stupid. I was trained by experts. I can't take you. How do you see? One arm tied behind my back. She should put that down. <laughs> She's gonna cut your fingers off. <laughs> okay, you had your fun. Now we stop these games. Recently, I corresponded with the daughter of the late Wolfgang Keiling, the German actor who plays Gromek in the film. Now, Keiling was, of course, disappointed that his role was cut in half. Not only was he to play Gromek, the East German security agent assigned to tail Professor Michael Armstrong, but he was also to play Gromek's older brother, who Armstrong meets at a factory not long after the killing, adding even more discomfort to Armstrong's plight, as he's no longer just a physicist detached from the real human cost of the Cold War, but now he's got real blood on his hands. The factory scene was filmed, but ultimately dropped from Torn Curtain. Although Hitchcock told Francois Truffaut that he cut the scene because the picture ran too long, Wolfgang Keiling wrote in his autobiography that it was actually Paul Newman that wanted the scene removed from the final cut. And given Paul Newman's contract, Hitchcock and the studio had little choice but to acquiesce. Now, the killing of Gromek got me thinking about how other Hitchcock villains or heavies meet their demise. Of course, we've got our fair share of gunshots. Oh, brother, help me. Thirty-nine Steps is an organization of spies, collecting information on behalf of the Foreign Office of... That wasn't very sporting, using real bullets. And stabbings. Ah! 
Jesus. And even the occasional suicide. Hitchcock usually reserved more gruesome killings for his villains, like falls from church towers. No, boys, this way. No. I heard voices. God have mercy. Or national monuments. It's not me you want. It's him. Ask him. Why, his own... Tell him quick. The sleeve. Sleeve. Or being crushed by an iron stage curtain. Drop the iron curtain and cut him off! Get out! Look out! Get out of the way! A runaway carousel. This was a pretty bad way, Mr. Turley. Can't you get that stuff off of him? Oh, they don't think they can till the crane comes. Or even being run over by a train. Personally, I would love to have seen how Hitchcock would have filmed the death of the murderer in the unfilmed Nobel for the Judge, where the killer is trampled by a field of racehorses at Epsom Downs. It was, it's difficult to describe the way that the, the, the twisting of the, of the, well, I, it's, I won't dwell upon it. But it was just not to be. Anyway, thanks for watching.